Thursday, November 14th, 2024, Evening Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AGNDD Intel I Report. We're excited to have you with us here. I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. And now, headlines of the day. High Arctic announces 2024 Q3 results. Recursion Pharmaceuticals CFO sells $229,504 in stock. FX crisis stops SME's expansion, operators complain, and much more. But first, this day in history. November 14th in history. November 14th, 332 BC, Alexander the Great is crowned Pharaoh of Egypt. November 14th, 1995. A budget standoff between Democrats and Republicans in the U.S. Congress forces the federal government to temporarily close national parks and museums and to run most government offices with skeleton staffs. Famous people born on this day... Shirley Crabtree Jr., known as Big Daddy, was a celebrated English wrestler. He gained fame from the 1970s to the 1990s with joint promotions, becoming a fan favorite. Crabtree also had a short-lived comic strip and media presence before retiring in 1993. November 14, 1986. Corey Michael Smith, American actor. November 14, 1904. Harold Larwood, English-Australian cricketer, died 1995. Today's trivia questions. How much horsepower is produced by the SD42 locomotive? The choices are 3,200, 2,578, 2,190, 3,000. Now take a second to think about it. How much horsepower is produced by the SD42 locomotive? Okay, got it. Ready? 3,000. Which Shakespeare play features the stage direction Enter a Messenger with Two Heads and a Hand? The choices are Othello, Macbeth, King Lear, Titus, Andronicus. Now take a second to think about it. Which Shakespeare play features the stage direction Enter a Messenger with Two Heads and a Hand? Okay, got it. Ready? Titus Andronicus. And now on to today's news. General news. Tesla and Rivian drop on report that Trump wants to end the electric vehicle credit, according to the Financial Post. U.S. auto stocks and Asian battery makers declined following reports that President-elect Donald Trump intends to remove a crucial consumer tax credit designed to encourage electric vehicle adoption. 1966 Lotus Elan S3 Coupe, bring a trailer.com. A 1966 Lotus Elan S3 Coupe has undergone extensive refurbishment, including mechanical and cosmetic updates. It features a 1.6 liter engine, four speed manual transmission, and various Tony Thompson racing components. Now offered with a Lotus Classic certificate and historical records. High Arctic announces 2024 third quarter results. Financial Post. High Arctic Energy Services announced financial results, revealing a strategic focus on expanding its Canadian operations and enhancing shareholder value. The company aims to leverage market conditions and operational efficiencies to drive growth and profitability. Today's trending Google searches. Eagles, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Venezuela versus Brazil. Venezuela, Brazil. Craig Melvin, Paraguay versus Argentina. Greece versus England, Nations League, full moon. Business news. FX crisis halts SME's expansion, operators lament the punch. Small and medium enterprises in Nigeria face expansion challenges due to economic instability, high inflation, and foreign exchange issues. 
Business leaders advocate for innovation, diversification, local sourcing, and technology adoption to survive and potentially grow amidst these hurdles. High Arctic announces 2024 third quarter results financial post. High Arctic Energy Services announced a financial update on November 14, 2024 in Calgary. The announcement is restricted from U.S. distribution to comply with securities law. Science News. Let's play Clue to determine who caused the Democrats' loss, WND.com. The article humorously compares the Democrats' election loss to a game of Clue, speculating on various figures like Nancy Pelosi, George Clooney, and the DNC as potential culprits. It highlights blame shifting and internal tensions within the party. Avricor Health refocuses strategy to unlock growth potential. Financial Post. Avricor Health Incorporated announces a strategic shift to enhance its focus on expanding pharmacy-based point-of-care testing solutions, aiming to capitalize on the rapidly growing healthcare market. Today's obituaries. Iklasul Amal, an influential Indonesian academic, served as rector of Gajah Mada University and chairman of the Press Council. Renowned for his contributions to political science and education, he played a key role in the Indonesian reform movement. Amal passed away at the age of 82 in 2024. Vadim Brovtsev, a Russian businessman and politician, served as South Ossetia's prime minister and acting president. He faced criticism over handling Russia's aid for reconstruction. Brovtsov died of a heart attack on November 14, 2024, at the age of 55. Harishandra Chavan, an Indian politician, served as a BJP member in the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly from 1995 to 1999 and in the Lok Sabha from 2004 to 2019, representing Dindori and Malagayan constituencies. He passed away on November 14, 2024, at the age of 72. The Dervilla M.X. Donnelly was a pioneering Irish chemist and academic, known for her work in phytochemistry at University College Dublin. She was the first woman to receive the Royal Irish Academy's Cunningham Medal and held several notable academic and leadership positions. Donnelly passed away at the age of 94. Edgar Brito, age 50, Brazilian keyboardist for Tuatha de Danon. Health News. Eight killed in Israeli airstrike on Lebanon's mountainous area, reports People's Daily Online. An Israeli airstrike on a residential building near Beirut killed eight people and injured many others. The attack was part of an escalated conflict with Hezbollah, destroying buildings and prompting evacuations. Israel claims it was targeting Hezbollah missile sites. Recursion Pharmaceuticals Chief Financial Officer Michael Sikora sells $229,504 in stock. Investing.com Recursion Pharmaceuticals CFO Michael Sikora sold $229,504 worth of company stock. This signals a significant transaction by a key executive within the biotechnology firm. Entertainment News XTM signs exclusive referral agreement with Coho for Canadian Any Day members Financial Post. XTM Incorporated, a fintech company based in Miami, Toronto, and London, develops innovative payment solutions. These include tip payout and certified earned wage access through its QRails Any Day product, enhancing financial services in various regions. Chew toy warning, family's plea after dog needs thousands of dollars in surgery, New Zealand Herald. A family's dog incurred nearly $10,000 in vet bills after swallowing parts of a broken chew toy. The owner warns others about toy safety, advocating for stricter regulations and urging cautious toy selection to prevent similar incidents. And now a couple of dad jokes for you. If I could name myself after any Egyptian god, I would be set. I went to the doctor today and he told me I had type A blood, but it was a typo. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Tele Report, dear viewers. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.